body. So we're going to start with our warm up. Today is a sort of sliding class with also some upper body. We haven't done our upper arm series for a while, so I thought we'd bring that out. Rolling the shoulders back, moving your thoracic spine as much as you can, getting a lovely flow. Very nice. Um, I've got a couple of new little things today and some oldies but goodies to get us going. Right, we're going to do our butterfly. So rounding, curl everything in and opening, steadily looking up at the ceiling. Use your breath, breathing in and out and in. Make it a nice smooth movement, rolling, curling and opening for three more. And open. Two. And last one. Very nice. Breathing in. Take your arms up above your head. And breathing out, do the cactus. Squeezing those elbows into your side. Make sure you're looking up at the ceiling. Squeeze those elbows in. Looking up. Breathing in. Arms up above your head. And breathing out as you stretch forward. Reach those arms forward. Stretching your hamstrings. And fold down to the floor and curling up. Belly button pulled in. Curling up one vertebra at a time. Tucking under. Head comes up last. Very nice. Breathing in. Arms up. And out. Cactus those arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Look up at the ceiling, so you're opening up your chest. Breathing in, arms up. And breathing out as you're reaching forward. Stretch, pull your belly button away from the floor. Reach, reach, reach. And folding down. And curling up, one vertebra at a time. Very nice. Let's just do that one more time. Breathing in, arms up. And breathing out. Squeeze those elbows in at your side. Lift up your chest. Breathing in, arms up above your head. And reach forward, stretching those hamstrings. Reach your arms as far away from you as you can. And folding down to the ground. While you're here, let's walk down into a plank. Walk your feet and your arms away from each other. And holding a nice plank. And from here, we're going to do our tango. Crossing the feet underneath. Twisting the top, the foot in front. Breathing out as you twist. For five. Make sure you move your hips. Four. Three. Nice and smooth movement. Two. And one. And coming down onto the floor. Very nice. You're going to put your right leg in front. Make sure your knee is directly over your ankle. Hands on the inside of the floor and slide that back leg back. And from here, we're going to roll your hips side to side. That's it. Loosening up that hip capsule, the front glute and the back hip flexor. Very nice. And stretching that front leg. Straightening that knee. Try and keep your hands on the floor. And coming forward, opening up. And stretching back. Keep going. We're going five times forward and back. Straightening that front knee. Stretch. Make it a nice flowing movement. And back. Two more. Reaching back. Stretching that hamstring. And now stretching the back hip flexor and the glute. Last one. And forward. Lovely, let's change legs. So you're going to put your other leg in front, my left leg. Knee directly over the ankle, hands on the inside of the floor. And slide that back leg back. And you're going to roll your hips side to side. It's quite a small movement, so don't worry if you feel like you're not doing much. It's just a little movement for that hip capsule. Two more. One more. Nice, now stretching back. If you have to move your hands back, you're welcome to, but if you can keep them as far forward as you can, you get a lovely stretch. Reaching back, stretch, and forward. And stretching back, very nice. We're going five times, make it nice and smooth and flowing. Two more. And reaching forward, lift your chest. And last one. And coming forward. Good. We're going to stay on that knee if it works out as camera-wise. 
and go straight out your left leg and be on your right knee. We're going to do our mermaid stretch, hand on the floor and reaching up and over. We're opening up our side and you're going to rotate towards the floor and back to the camera. Lovely, let's go four times, breathing out, stretch that top arm away and come back. Two more, reaching over and back and last one, stretch, reach and back to the middle. Very nice, put your knees together, come up and we're going to stretch out the opposite leg. So right leg out, stretching over and let's rotate. Try and reach that top arm away from you as much as you can and back and breathing out. And back to me. Two more. Reach. And back. And last one. And back. Very nice. You're going to come and sit on the floor. We're going to start with a hip mobility exercise, which we haven't done for a while. So you can sit on the floor, feet and knees bent, and have your hands behind you. Your feet are quite wide. And from here, you're going to roll your knees side to side. Barbara, be careful with your hips. Make sure this isn't too uncomfortable. Stay maybe with this, your hands behind you and resting on your hands. Drop those knees down to the floor. That's it. And you can really stretch that top hip. As you drop the knee down, push the top hip forward. Very nice. We've got three more. This is so nice to loosen up the hip joint. One more. Good. Now, hips allowing, unless it's painful, Barbara, see how you feel. Put your arms up and we're going to do the same movement. So now you're required to bring your tummy in a little bit as you go around. And your hip is now moving a little bit tighter in that hip joint. We're bringing up and over. Making sure you keep it nice and controlled. If it's sore, keep your hands behind you. Don't work through pain. Good, let's go for two more. That's it. You might feel yourself moving forward, have to readjust. Last one. Very nice. So now we're going to stay with our legs to one side. So my I'm always in side sitting. So roll your knees down to one side. You're going to face your front knee. Have either your hands on either side of your front knee and push your other leg back a little bit. Push it further behind you. Right, from here, leaning slightly forward onto your hands. Tummy pulled in. We're going to lift this back leg up and down off the floor. It's a very small movement. If it's too difficult, you can keep your foot down and just lift that knee. Let's go for 10, breathing out. <sighs> Try and keep your upper body still and just lift that back leg. This uses your glute medius completely. It isolates it. If it's too much, keep the foot down and just lift that back knee. Five more. Tummy pulled in, shoulders down and back. Very nice. That's it. Three more. Two more. Last one. Very nice. Let's roll the legs to the other side. So again, the setup, you push your back leg quite further behind you, face your front knee, hands on either side of that front knee. And from here, tummy pulled in, leaning forward onto your hands, let's go. Lifting that leg up and down. Make sure the leg's not too far close to the side. It must be behind you. Otherwise, you're gonna feel your hip flexor. So if you bring the leg forward as you lift, you're actually working your hip flexor. It must just be behind you. Five more. Tummy in. Four. Three. Very nice. Two. Make sure your leg's properly behind you. One. Lovely. Right. Come and lie on your back. Our last of our activation exercises before we start sliding. You're going to lie on your back. And you're going to straighten the legs out quite a bit. So there's just a little bit of a bend in the knee. So there must be a slight bend, probably 10 degrees bent in the knee. 
And from here, we're just going to lift up. So from here, I'm lifting up, squeezing my hamstrings. And we're going to hold it for a minute, so don't start yet. Okay, let's set yourselves, lying with your knees slightly bent. As we lift up, we're going to breathe out and pull our belly button in and lift our hips off the floor. Let's go. In three, two, one. You're going to hold it up here. So we're lifting our hips off the floor. The knees are slightly bent, so we're raising the bum off the floor. And you should feel your hamstrings really working. Squeezing. We're going to hold it for another 45 seconds. Try to pull your belly button in. Tilt your pelvis. Keep lifting those hips off the floor. You should feel your hammies really working. If your back hurts, bring your feet closer towards your bottom. 30 seconds. Tummy pulled in, squeezing through the floor. Beautiful, looking good, guys. 15 seconds, breathing out, breathing in, tummy pulled in, pushing through those hamstrings for 10. Very nice. Relax it down. Bring your knees into your chest. Hug your knees and rock side to side. So that wakes the hamstrings up a little bit. Very nice. Roll up into sitting and we're going to come and stand up and start with our first sliding exercise. If you don't have anything to slide on, you don't need to. You can just step back. So we're going to go into a lunge for 10. You can just step back for 10. Okay. Hold on for balance if you need. We're going to do 10 sliding back, normal lunges. And then we're going to go back for 10, touching the ground. Again, if that hurts your hip, just stay doing normal lunges. Let's go in three, two, one. We're going to slide down. Nice lunge, weight down in the middle. Make sure your front knee, if your weight is back over, your, your body, sorry. You're dropping your weight down here and not there. Tummy pulled in. Make sure the front knee stays facing forward. Drop. Nice. Five more. Arms can do whatever you need them to do. Stepping back if you're not sliding, control that lunge. Three more. Squeeze everything as you come up. Two. Beautiful. One, very nice. So now either you carry on with that or you slide down, touch the floor, and come up. Let's go. Two, tummy in and up. Three, bring your chest to your thigh, and up. Four, beautiful. Five, control it all the way. Six, either if this hurts you, you just keep doing your normal lunges. Seven, eight, nearly there, nine, and ten, very nice. We're going to stay with this leg, don't change legs, we're really going to fatigue the leg we're working. We're going to go straight into our side lunges, don't change legs. If you don't have a sliding thing, Barbara and Nancy, you can just step out and lunge. So step and knee, whichever way you do it, your knee stays facing forward. Normal lunges to start. Let's go. One. As you go back, your weight goes back through your heels. Make sure you're not stick going too far forward. Beautiful. If you're stepping out, I want your weight always to stay over this leg. Four more. So if you're stepping out, your weight must be on this side. And up. Don't have your weight in the middle. Always stays over the bent leg. Three more. Two more. Very nice. Last one. Now we're staying here. Either keep doing that, we're going to touch the ground. Make sure your chest goes to your thigh. Nice. Down. Keep that bottom low. If you're stepping out, you can stay with the step or touching the ground. Nice. Four. 
three, make sure your weight goes back through your heels. Two, the legs starting to get tired. One, very nice, change sides. Did I miscount? Hugely likely. Right, we're going to the other side now. Normal lunge, lunge touching the floor. Side lunge, lunge touching the floor. Right, let's go in three, two, one. Sliding back, keep your chest nice and high. A normal lunge back, you can step it back or slide it back. If your hips are getting sore, you can always do a wall squat. If you have any knee or hip issues, sliding down and up. Make sure your weight drops down in the middle. Four more, tummy fold in. Three. Two. And one, now either keep lunging or you're gonna add touching the floor, chest to side, dropping down, one. Two, beautiful job. Three. Make sure when you touch the floor that you're not resting on the floor, you're just touching it. Your weight is through that front leg. Five more. Four. Three, very good, we got this. Woo. Two. And last one. Very nice, we're gonna go straight into our side lunge. Make sure your weight, whichever way you're doing it, your weight is over this bent leg. And up, your bottom goes behind you. That's it, so when you step out, you're there, your weight goes back. Nice, four. If you're stepping onto it, your weight still goes onto this leg. That's it, whatever you manage to do, Keep your weight there, four more. Slide it down, keep your bottom low. Three. Two, very nice. And one, either hold it there or we're gonna to touch the floor, chest to thigh, dropping down, one. And two. Make sure as you drop down, your bottom goes down with you. So you're not just reaching down from your back. Five more. Feel that thumb. Four. Three, very nice. Two. And last one. That's it, very good. Come and sit on the floor. You're either gonna use your slider or you can use a roller, whichever one you've got, which you prefer. So if you've got a roller, you're welcome to use the roller. If you've got your slider, you can use a slider. I'm actually gonna to change to a roller just because it's here, but it's exactly the same exercise. So you can slide or use the roller. Laura's just gonna go and get hers. Sorry, I should have said that in the beginning. Right, I'll show you. Laura's done this before, so I'm just going to show you as we go. We're sitting with our legs side sitting. I'm on my right bum cheek. Hands slightly in front of me. Shoulder pulls down and back. You're going to roll out. Your head stays in line with your body. Your shoulder stays down. On a breath out, I'm going to pull my shoulder blade down. And that pulls me up. So I don't bend the elbow. Okay, let's go. Breathing in as you slide out. And now shoulder pull down. You use that shoulder blade to pull you up. Very nice. Breathing in, head stays in line with your body. And out. So you should feel it in your triceps and your lats. Let's go, make sure your elbow stays straight. Breathing in, hold it. On a breath out, your shoulder blade pulls you up. Nice. Make sure you're not raising that shoulder. Breathing in. Good, four more. That's it, breathing in and out. If you're sliding, it's the exact same movement. Breathing in, rolling out and out. Use that muscle as a light switch in your, in your shoulder blade. Two more. And out. 
Last one, very nice, tummy pulled in. Shoulder blade down and back. Very nice, let's change sides. So same thing, I'm now side sitting on my left bum cheek. Roll it sort of 45 degrees in front of me. Rest the fingers of your hand on it. Elbow stays straight. Tummy pulled in, let's go. You breathe in as you go down. And breathing out, shoulder blade. You pull that shoulder blade, make sure your arm stays straight. Very nice. Breathing in. And out. Make sure you're using all of this to pull you back in. We're going for eight. Breathing in. And out. Push your hand into the roller. Make sure you use that shoulder blade. Pulling it down pulls you up. So that's just the switch there. Four more. Very nice. You look like you're all doing it great. Good. And three. Make sure your elbows stay straight. Perfect. You all look like you're doing it very well. Two more. Breathing out as you come up. Shoulder blade pulls you up. Last one. And out. Good work. Right. We're going to go back onto our sliding or your trays. Because we're going to do now mountain climbers. So, one foot on each if you've got. Otherwise, you do both feet on one. And we're going to do mountain climbers. If you don't have sliders, you can just do mountain climbers without sliding. So, either way, we're in this position. And we're going to either slide them in, or you're just going to do your mountain climbers as you would. Let's go in three, two, one. We're going for 20. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, you can do it in your own time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice, well done. Now we're going to do knee tucks and you can use your roller. If, for those of you stepping, you can put your feet on the roller or on the pad. So on the roller, you put your shins on and you bring your knees in and out. Like that. If you've just got the pads, you can do it that way. So either way, we're going for 10, bringing both knees in, rolling them on the roller or on your sliding pad. Let's go in three, two, one. Tummy pulled in. One, two, slow and controlled. Three, four, five. Weight stays over your hands. Six, don't let your weight transfer back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Grab a sip of water. That's our first round. We're going to do that round one more. But we're going to do some arms and other legs in between. So, come and stand up. We're going to do a squat and a knee lift for one minute. Just to break it up. Get everything moving. Let's go. Squat. With the knee lift, you can twist or just keep it nice and still. If the squat is hurting your hip, you can do a wall squat. Slow and controlled. Make sure your weight goes back. Tummy pulled in. Beautiful. Just getting some different muscle group working. A little bit of cardio. Breaking it up from the sliding. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out as you pull your knee up. 20 seconds. Squat right down. Weight through your heels. Tummy pulled in. Woo! 10. Make it nice 
relax. Very nice. We're going to work our triceps and our posterior line with our arms. Go down into a little half squat. Back beautifully straight. From here, you're going to take your arms, your thumbs up to the ceiling. And back down. Tummy pulled in. So you bend slightly forward. Thumbs to the ceiling. Your shoulder blades move downward. As you come up, think of putting your shoulder blades down your back. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out as you take your arms up. You can use little weights if you want to. You don't need to. If you're firing up those muscles, you activate those muscles beautifully. Shoulders down and back. Keep going. Tummy pulled in. Five. Four. We're going to hold it and pulse. Three. Lift your chest. Two. Tummy pulled in. One. Hold it there. Now check your posture. Have you got a nice straight line from your hands to your bum? Beautiful. Vanessa, that's perfect. Good, Nancy. Barbara, Abby, Robert, Laura. Awesome. Let's go. Felix, I can't see you. Pulse it back. Shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in for 10. Nine. Squeeze. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Take the palms back behind you. And arms above your bottom. Pull those shoulder blades down and pulse. Squeeze those fingers. Straighten those fingers. Stretch them as far as you can. Squeeze. Squeeze. Focus on those muscles. Pull in your abs. For 10. 9. 8. You want to imagine those muscles squeezing. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. One, and roll down to the ground, stretching out your back, and curling up. Very good. We're going to stay doing arms. I'm going to kneel so you can see what I'm doing. You're welcome to stay standing. You're going to have your arms out to the side. Remember, shoulder blades pull down and back, palms facing behind you, shoulders away from your ears, and push. Push, just hold it there. Imagine you squeezing against a ball. Stretch out your fingers as much as you can. I want nice wide hands. The more strong your hands are, you've got tension coming all the way down. Little pulses, squeeze. Tummy pulled in, squeeze your bum. Arms are straight, squeeze. This is quite sneaky, it starts building up. Little ones. Very nice. Keep your palms facing backwards. We're up, back, squeeze. Imagine as you're doing this that you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Up, tummy pulled in. Little movements. That's it, Felix. And I can see you better. Squeeze the tummy in. Squeeze the bum. Arms start aching about now. Squeeze. Nice. Four. Three, two, one. Very nice. Turn the palms down. Spread your fingers wider. Little circles. The arms start aching about now. Squeeze. Little circles one way. Nice long arms. If you get very tired, drop them. Turn around. Other way. Tummy pull in. Squeeze your bum. Lengthen those arms away from you. Shoulders down and back. If your neck hurts, drop your arms. Come back. For three, two, one. Turn your palms up to the ceiling. Slightly bend your elbows. Pulse. Imagine you're holding a massive ball. Huge ball. And you're just doing little pulses. Squeeze. Squeeze. Nice. After this, we're going back into our sliding. So our legs are going to work hard. Make the most of the arms. For 10, 9, whew, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 
and relax it. Amazing how hard it works those shoulders. Right. Coming up, we're doing our sliding again. Another round. So again, same thing as before. You're welcome to step back. You don't need to slide. We're going to do 10 normal lunges. 10 touching the floor. 10 sideways. 10 touching the floor. Same leg. Then we change sides. Right. You ready? Let's go in three, two, one. Keep your chest lifted. Tummy pulled in. Weight drops down through the middle. When I'm here at the bottom, you can see my front knee is over my ankle. And it stays facing forward. I don't let it roll in or out. Nice. Five. Six. As you come up, squeeze everything. Seven. Very nice. Good. Felix, step back a little bit more so your knee isn't over your... That's it. Don't touch the floor, but a wider step. Two more. One more. Much better. Now we either stay lunging there or we're going to touch the floor. Let's go. Chest to thigh. You want a nice wide step so that your knee is over your ankle. Even wider, Felix. Step further back. Nice. Nancy also. Lovely. Step nice and wide. Perfect. Shoulders down and back. If you're getting sore, stay with a normal lunge or do a wall squat for four more. Three. Tummy pull in. Squeeze. Two. And one. Very nice. We're going to go into our sideways. Stepping out or sliding. Let's go. Weight stays over the bent leg. Perfect. Two. Three. If you're stepping out, the leg that you step out onto bends. That's it. Five. Six. Keep your weight over the bent leg. Seven. Tummy pulled in. Eight. Very nice. Drop your hips, nine. And 10, very nice. Now we're touching the floor. Touch, and up. And touch, two, very nice. If you're stepping out, watch the, the leg you step out onto, Barbara, is the leg that bends. So the leg you step out with is the one that bends. Five, six, there we go, that's it. Seven. Tummy pulled in. Eight. You're all looking amazing. Nine. Drop your guard. Last one. Ten. Very nice. Right. Change sides. Standing up nice and tall. Not too many breaks. Let's go. Sliding back. One. Weight dropping down through the middle. Two. Three, make sure that back knee doesn't touch the floor. It mustn't go down onto the floor. It hovers just a little bit. Five. That's better. Six. Seven. Perfect. Eight. Good. Try not to lean on the knee. Nine. And ten. So either keep doing that or chest to thigh. Let's go. Touch the floor. One. Two. Very nice. Come all the way up. Three. Make sure you come all the way up. Finish the movement. Four. Five. That's it. Six. And down. Seven. Nearly there. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Very nice, well done. Come onto the floor, side sitting. And we're gonna either slide or use the roller for the upper body one. With this, I really want to, I know I keep harping on about it. As you come up, the, the movement that brings you up is pulling your shoulder blade down and back. So keep your arms straight, because it's not a biceps. Right, side sitting. Roller 45 degrees to your side. 
straight hand on it. Head stays in line with your body. Let's go. Breathing in and breathing out. Pull that shoulder blade. Let it pull you up. Nice. Two. Breathing in to roll out. And back. Very good. Three. Good. Keep that head in line with your spine. Don't let it go crooked. Four. Breathe out as you come up. Five, use the breath out to help you. That's it. Six, this is so good for posture. Eight, tummy in. Two more, nine. And last one, ten. Very nice, other side. We're nearly done, guys. Nearly there. Just got to finish the circuit. Side sitting, hand on. Breathing in as we go down. Let's go. Breathing in. Head in line with body. And up. Shoulder blade pulls down. That pulls you up. Breathing in. Make sure you keep your arms straight. That looks great. And out. You should feel it in your side here. And out. Make sure the only thing that's moving is that shoulder blade. Nice. Five more. You can tell I didn't know if that was four or five. I made up a number. Four. And out. Two more. Breathing in. Last one. Very nice. Very good. Straight into mountain climbers, either sliding or just stepping into mountain climbers, whatever you've got there. I'm going to do it sliding. We're going for 20 alternating sides. If you're stepping it in, it's naturally slower, so just keep going until we finish, okay? Tummy pulled in, shoulders over your hands. Stepping out, let's go in three, two, one. Two, tummy pulled away from the floor all the time. Four, five. Six, shoulders down, seven. Ten, ten more. One, two, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Very nice. Either for the knee tucks, you can use your roller to roll both legs in, or use one sliding thing. We're going to go for 10 knee tucks. With this, make sure your shoulders stay directly over your hands. As you bring your knees in, don't transfer your weight backwards. It's tempting, but don't. Right, 10, let's go. In three, two, one. Tummy in. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, use your abs. Eight, nine, ten. Woo, well done. Come lie on your back. We're going to do a little bit more abs and then we're done. Grab a sip of water if you need. Alrighty. Onto your back with your legs out straight. From here, your hands are behind your head. You're going to lift one leg up, touch it with your opposite hand, and down. Breathing out, tummy in, chain slide. So straight leg, touch with the opposite hand. Let's go. Good. Two. Three. Breathing out as you touch. Four. Tummy pulled in. Five. Very nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Very nice. Bend your knees, hands by your side, lift your legs in tabletop. Hands behind your head. We're going to crunch the knees in and crunch up. So you're going to lift your knees up in a little hip roll. 
And at the same time, you're going to crunch in. And up. Let's go. Chubby pulled in. So we crunch, knee and chest in. And back. Two. Three. You open up all the way. Head on the floor. Chubby pulled in. Good. Five. Six. Breathing out as you crunch. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Very nice. Hold it here. Head down. Single leg stretch. Alternating sides. Your head stays down. Breathing out as you change. Tummy pulled in. Let's go. One. Two. Nice and slow. Three. Four. Don't let your back arch. Five. Lift your tailbone. Six. Nearly there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And hug your knees into your chest. Well done. Very, very nice. Keep your right knee in. Stretch out your left leg. Straighten that leg up to the ceiling. Hold behind your thigh. And we're going to point and flex your foot. That's it. Very nice. Point and flex. Two more. Last one. Bend the knee and let's take that knee across your body. So you're stretching out your low back. Look at your opposite hand. Stretching out. And breathe out. Your body always automatically will breathe in. So we often have to focus on the breath out. Good. Bring both knees into the middle, into your chest. Hug your knees in. Straighten out your right leg. Left leg up to the ceiling. Hold behind your thigh. And point and flex. If you're able to straighten your knee, that's great. If not, you can be a little bit bent, that's fine. As much as you can manage. Good. Bend that knee and pull it across you. Stretch and look at your opposite hand. And breathe out. And bring those knees back into the middle. Rock side to side. And come up into sitting. Well done. Let's stretch those arms out a little bit. Take your arm across you. And pulling it up. Try and hold between your elbow and your wrist. And pull that shoulder blade down. That's it. Good. And change sides. Pull that shoulder blade down. You get much more of a stretch. Good. And stretch. Very nice. Roll those shoulders. Well done, guys. That was an awesome start to Monday. So tomorrow morning, 6.30, for anyone who's up early or in Canada up late. Otherwise, 4.15. Okay. See you tomorrow. <coughs> Thanks, guys.